time with Cynic Tiger and in this video we're going to do mixed speed distance time and it's going to involve more complicated decimal time so this is suited for fourth level national five and before this you should have seen a video already on how to convert from minutes like 6, 10, 15 minutes into decimals and vice versa. I'll also show you a handy triangle that helps you figure out um, which formula to use and how to remember them. So this triangle here is a way of remembering all the formulas. Um, you can normally get them using a wee bit of common sense, but this is a wee foolproof way of doing it. You just have to remember the layout of the triangle. And for me, it's it goes alphabetical. D at the top, then S and T next to each other. So let's say you had a question that was looking for distance. You would put your finger over distance, but I can't do that right now, but I can colour distance in. So if I was to cover up distance, that leaves me with S next to T. Now in algebra, when two letters are side by side, they're multiplying. So the formula for distance will be speed times time. Okay. Next, let's pretend I had a question that was asking me for the speed. So I would put my finger over speed, or in this case, colour it in. And that leaves you with D over T. So the formula for speed is D over T, which in maths means divide. So distance divided by time. And then finally, if I wanted to do a time calculation, I would cover up time and that is left with D over S, which is your distance divided by speed. So it's a really great handy wee triangle. You just have to remember that and put, write that down for every question and it'll help you decide what calculation you're performing. So I've got three questions to show you. The first one is on about a helicopter. Um, flying at 120 kilometres per hour for an hour and 36 minutes. How far does it fly? So we want distance because it's asking how far. So your distance formula, distance equals speed times time. Now from the question, our speed was 120 and our time was 1 hour 36. So at the moment, I know that's 1.3 something. Remember, it's not 1.36 because... Um, time is out of 60 minutes and if you were doing 0.36 that's really 36 out of 100 so at the side get you to go do 36 um, you can either write this as two ways you can do 36 divided by 60 or you can write it as 36 over 60 go to your calculator and work out what that is and it gives you 0 0.6 so and as a decimal 1 over 36 is 1.6 now that makes sense, doesn't it? Because 36 minutes is just over half an hour and 0 0.6 is just over 0 0.5, which is half. So that's the sum you're going to be doing. You're going to do 120 times 1.6 and your calculator will do all this for you. There's no need for you to have to do it mentally. And it gives you 192. So our distance is 192. Remember, if you don't know what units, you go back up to your speed. It was in kilometres per hour. So our distance was 192 kilometres. Let's look at the next one. So in this one, we've got a journey of 192 and a time of 2 hours 40, and we want speed. So I'm going to colour in speed, which leaves me with distance over time. So speed equals distance over time. My distance is 192. My time is 2 hours 40, so at the moment I know that's 2 point something. Remember, it's not 2.40, so I'm going to go to the side and I'm going to do 40 divided by 60 and your calculator gives you a full screen of 60s, right? So it's up to you what you do here. You can write that as 2.666 and fill your calculator screen or to two decimal places, you can just take that as 2.67 and then you'll do 192 divided by 2.67 and that gives you 71.9 Oops, sorry. So that gives you 71.9 miles per hour. Now, if you are to use the exact number and do 192 divided by 2.6666 and loads of sixes in there, it will come out as exactly 72 miles per hour. Now, you would get full marks for either of these. Okay, as long as you've got that rounded to 2.67, you're fine. If you want to be a wee bit more accurate, you can. And remember, at the end of the day, 71.9, if you did it to near this whole number, would be 72 miles per hour. And generally, I, I tell my pupils to do it to near this whole number anyway for these ones. 
So I would be quite happy with 72 miles per hour or 71.9 here. Okay, so my last example, we've got a man who is cycling for 37.4 kilometres at a speed of 22 kilometres per hour. And we want to know his time. So I'm going to colour in time on my triangle. And that leaves me distance over speed. So his distance was 37.4 and his speed was 22. So the time conversion in this one comes in at the end. Now, if you take that into your calculator, it gives you 1.7 as an answer. So you write that down as 1.7 hours. But all these questions will normally say, give your answer in hours and minutes like mine does there. So we know 1.7 is one hour something. So we know that is one hour. We need to work out what the 0 0.7 is. So you go to the side and you do 0 0.7 times 60 and it gives you 42. So our actual time is one hour, 42 minutes. Now the important thing to do here is see this line. Please don't skip that. If this was in a text and you accidentally got the final answer wrong and you said it was one hour, seven minutes and you didn't have that line that I've put the star in, you're going to drop more marks. So please write down your calculated answer before you then convert to hours and minutes. In the time questions, that is so important, okay? So that's the end of my examples. What we've got now is some for you to go try yourself. So feel free to pause the video here, all right? And then the answers will be on the next slide. And that is your answers there. Hopefully you got them okay.